lesson that's about an old blues song called 40 Days, 40 Nights. This blues song is recorded back in 1956 by Muddy Waters, but uh, the album that has inspired me, the version that has inspired me, is from an album called the Charles Ford Band, The Reunion, with Robert Ford and his brothers. And it's a minor blues, uh, and it has a great groove. Uh, the, during the first line it has a really great groove. Uh, and the second line it has a change in, uh, in uh, rhythm, which is interesting. In the, on the dominant chord, in the last line of the blues, you have a seven sharp line chord that that creates some space. It's it's a little different, uh, and but basically it's 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 very basic blues uh, with with a nice groove. And I played it with a lot of students because it's 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 basic but still interesting. And in this video, I will show you how to play this groove. I will show how you how to play this great rhythm. Uh, and I will discuss afterwards what I do when I solo, what scales you can use uh, besides the uh, obvious uh, blue scale. Okay, let's take a close look at the chords for this uh, 40 days, 40, 40 nights. The first chord is G minor 7, the four chord is a C9. Notice it's the dominant 7 dominant uh, type chord, so it's not a minor chord. And the 5 chord is a D7 sharp 9. It's a Jimi Hendrix type chord. So let us start with the first chord. You can play, play it with your fingernails or with your fingers. If I play with my fingers, I do like this. see what I do but I will show you uh, the turnaround using my fingers as it's more easy for you if you are a pick player to pick up what what is going on I start by, with the first chord or yeah the first chord Let's take the chord at first it's a it's a different way to play different way to play a minor seven maybe you're familiar with this chord and this chord if, these voicings, but this voicing is great if you want to make slide. Because you cannot really make so much. It's 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 more difficult to make slides when you have these voicings. So this voicing is great. It sounds great too. You have the three, the third finger over the four first strings, and the second finger over the sixth string. The fifth string is muted. So and I play two notes where mute just after hitting the string one and, and three and four okay one and two and, and here I slide uh, I, I hit the uh, fourth second and the fourth the third and the second string you should not hit the, the fourth string just the the three strings, the second, the third, and the fourth. So you have. After that, I actually use my fourth finger here. 
I slide up. Uh, you can also use the third finger. But I think it's convenient because I use the other fingers for the chord. So I use the fourth finger for, for this uh, small melodic phrase. I make a slide from the fourth to the fifth fret, third fret, down on the next string, fifth uh, fret, and then we have it again. Notice it's just this, it's just a down stroke, down, and I take it back again, just one stroke. Okay, let's take that until now we have the groove. And the thing I play up here is uh, I hit, I hit, I have my first finger in the sixth fret here, second string, seventh fret down on the next string, the second finger. And I slide, I just hit these two strings with a down stroke. And I one down stroke and one down stroke going back again until here. So until now we have. a small lick here leading back to to the groove it's uh in the on the third string the fifth fret i i i move up and down in one i slide up and down in one movement at first i hit the string before i slide I think you understand what I mean. I take the note and I slide afterwards up and down. Okay, let me try to play until what we have until now. It's exactly the uh, once again you play exactly the same thing. Okay, now we finished the first line of the blues and we go down to the second line where we had this uh, C9 chord. Maybe you're familiar with that one. I hope you are. But if not, you have the third finger here or the three first strings. You have the fourth uh, or the first finger here in the fourth string, second fret, and down on the C here in the, in the third fret, uh, fifth string, you have the second finger. And uh, you start. <laughs> to the C and then I go into a cool uh, rhythm change to uh, to some uh, nice rhythm chord uh, sounds like this the way I play that is I have down down up last three strokes are uh, they are strumming so I just lift my fingers from the strings so I get this percussive sound so it is, it is down down up down 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 up down 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 so it goes and I move up here 
Play it again. That's the two first uh, uh, bars of the second line of the blues, meaning it's, it's bar five and six. It goes like this. Or sorry, I think I play. I try to play it every second time, so it's not it's not inflated <laughs> this idea. So let me try to play that again. all second line of the, of the blues. Now we go to the dominant chord and again I, I move chromatic up to, to the D. And again this uh, rhythm back to the C. take from the D7 and the way I play that one is uh, I have my second finger here in the 7th fret, 5th string, 1st uh, finger here in the 4th string, the 4th fret, uh, my 3rd finger down on the on, in the 5th fret, the 3rd string, then I have my uh, fourth finger on the eighth fret, uh, the second string. And down to C9. The slide here, just the uh, three strings down. And we go, go back to the. Now we're down in the turnaround. The tenth fret we just play, and then we play. I make a little different ending to just to end the end the turnaround before I, I, I pr proceed with, with the beginning again. It has, it has proven more easy for my students to understand the turnaround when ending with this chord again, so you know where it ends. Because uh, in the way uh, Charles Ford Band, they play it, uh, where they stay in the G minor 7, it can be easy for some students to find out where where this song starts and ends. So let me try to play this last line. The last two goes like this. solo I would just tell basically the basic ideas of what I use and first of all I use the minor pentatonic uh, 
scale and uh, the blues scale. <laughs> Let's make this cool sound. Where it goes down in the first turnaround uh, to the D, I play a fast uh, descending uh, G minor pen, uh, blue scale. Ending on the C, at the right place in the solo, uh, and then something interesting starts because we have a C9 and it's a dominant, uh, meaning it's a major type, major dominant type chord, so we so I hit the major's uh, third here, the, the, the flat at seven, the six. So here, by this phrase, I hit. It starts with an arpeggio a C. I, the, these are uh, uh, scale notes from the C Mixolydian scale. I think I play something up here also. All this is uh, C Mixolydian. Okay, let's take a close look at the second uh, second turnaround, uh, and it starts basically with the same basic uh, blue scale ideas, but then an interesting uh, line comes. It was a, it's a long as, uh, ascending uh, minor seven arpeggio. <laughs> This is one of these ideas when, when you can when you can end the phrase the right way and you can play it fluently, it sounds incredible good. I can try to show you very slowly here. This is a major seven of the of, of the C, uh, so it it just it just hints at the C mixolydian scale. So it's a phrase started with a long ascending minor seven phrase. It goes down to blue scale, and we end uh, in the, in the C mixolydian scale.